We begin tonight with the city's first arrest under a new ordinance banning off-road vehicles from city streets. An Auburn man is now facing charges. Police caught up with him on Providence Street. Neighbors say it's been an ongoing issue. Our Olivia Lemon has more on our top, our top story. Olivia? Trisha, one neighbor we spoke with has lived on Providence Street for two years. He says once the weather gets warmer, the dirt bikes are out on the streets. This new task force deals with the illegal and unregistered use of bikes in the city. They're flying back and forth. You know, they're, they're, they're not even paying attention what they're doing. They're just going so fast. Paul Schutz lives on Providence Street in Worcester. He says people speed by his house all the time on dirt bikes like these. I'm glad the, the Worcester police are doing something about it, and I'm happy about that. I just hope it gets done and nobody gets hurt. A new task force was created to address the problems caused by off-road vehicles driving on city streets and parks. Worcester police arrested a 26-year-old Auburn man Friday night under the new ordinance. Rogelo Torres was also charged with driving with a suspended license. Arrests and aggressive enforcement will definitely be a part of the task force, uh, but the most important goal of the task force is obviously to create a safe environment on our city streets and parks. Worcester police say the goal of the task force is to curb the use of unregistered dirt bikes as well as find out where they are being stolen from and stored. Oftentimes they're being operated in groups, uh, driving at excessive speeds, driving on sidewalks, driving with uh, no regard for traffic signs or signals. When you're afraid to walk out in the street because uh, you're, you know, you could be run over by by one of these kids thinking it's funny they're on the sidewalk or that they're whizzing around the corner. Uh, it's, it's really a dangerous situation. City Councilor Kate Toomey is encouraging residents who may have any information on who may be riding these bikes or where they are being stored to call Worcester Police. It's really important that we send this message quickly and firmly. The possibility somebody will get hurt and that's the worst part about it all, somebody getting hurt. Now again, if you have any information on who is riding these bikes or where they are being stored, you are asked to call Worcester Police. The number there is 508-799-8669 and then extension 7 will bring you to the task force personnel directly. Trisha, back to you. Thank you, Olivia.